G'day and welcome to the second instalment on uh, transformations using matrices. Uh, in the last video we looked at uh, trans the transformations of dilations and uh, reflections. Um, this time we're going to look at uh, translations. Now translations use a, a slightly different uh, matrix. Um, in the uh, dilations and reflections we used uh, this matrix here was multiplied by the old uh, graph um, but in translations the old graph is actually added to um, by by a different um, matrix uh, this one here <coughs> so I'm going to have a look at two different um, uh, translations moving it left and right and moving it up and down um, in this case here we're, we're going to add this matrix H0 um, and when we add matrices they have to be exactly the same like this one uh, they, they both have to be a 2 by 1 matrix like this so X plus H will be just X plus H and Y plus 0 will be Y so our new graph uh, sorry and this is a translation of H units right so when we add an H when we add a positive number here it'll move it to the right when we add a negative number it'll move it to the left so um, our new graph is going to be X plus H and our old graph is going to just be the same Y values. So um, I'm going to use, uh, I'm, I'm going to rearrange this equation here, X dash equals X plus H. I'm going to rearrange to X equals X dash minus H and uh, the Y values, are, uh, there's no difference with that one. Now I'm going to use the square root function as my base graph. So instead of having the square root of X, it's going to be the square root of X dash minus H and I guess that's where you can see how it's going to be a reflection, sorry not a reflection, a translation of a H units right. Okay, so when we add H, it moves it to the right by H units. Let's have a look at this one now. Um, this is a reflection in the, uh, sorry, a translation in the other uh, direction. Maybe this is moving it up and down. Our new graph is going to be X, uh, our old graph added to um, by 0 and negative 3 so I'm, end up, I'm going to end up getting x and y minus 3 and this is going to be a translation of um, you know, k units or uh, actually it should be 3 units down okay so um, again my algebra um, x dash is x so the x values don't change but the y values will be y minus you know, y dash equals y minus 3 so I'm going to use this graph um, here, the base graph of 1 on x squared, and it's going to be uh, my, uh, the x values won't change. I rearrange this equation, I get x dash. I rearrange this equation here, and I get y dash is, you know, y, uh, 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 so y equals y dash plus 3. And now I'm going to put this, um, replace the y with that, and then I'm going to minus 3 on both sides, and as you can see there, I get um, 1 on x uh, dash squared minus 3 so that minus number there means that it's moving down 3 so the, this in summary for the translations um, plus uh, where, where was it up here plus H will move it right H negative H will move it left H um, positive 3 will move it down 3 uh, sorry up 3 and negative 3 will move it down 3 okay so that's the translations <coughs> Let's just do a, a little quick summary of um, of all of the different types of um, uh, transformations that you can have. You can have um, the, a reflection in the x-axis, which is this negative one down here. You can have a reflection in the y-axis, which is this negative one up here. You can have a reflection in the inverse, you know, along the line y equals x, which is one zero zero one. So you know these things have, have swapped. You can have a dilation by a factor of b from the y-axis, so whatever's there, that's the, the dilation factor. But in the equation, um, it will actually be 1 on b. Here, um, when, when we change this number here to an a, that means it's a dilation by a factor of a from the x-axis. You can translate it h units right, and you can translate it, translate it h units up. Um, now, depending on whether h and k are negative or positive, um, you know, but if we're assuming that they're positive, so it's moving it right and up. Um, you, you also need to remember that uh, you know dilations, reflections, translations, um, in that order, always, unless the question directs otherwise. So even though we looked at them slightly differently, if you're stating the transformations that take place, um, the, the dilations always come first, then followed by reflections and translations. So hopefully that clears up uh, some of the you know, issues or some of the questions that you have around transformations using matrices. 
you can um, have multiple different um, transformations happening at the same time you can get reflections um, translations and dilations all happening uh, together <coughs> um, and reflections in in different um, axes and dilations into different axes as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a go at doing a couple of the questions then these are in your notes uh, that you've got um, so this is from 2010 uh, the VCAR sample questions they put these out because uh, it was a new part of the course in 2010 and they wanted people to have an idea of what kind of question um, it will come up but I've adapted it just slightly just so that we can see it a little bit better so find the equation of the image of y equals 1 on x under the transformation defined by the matrix half 0, 0, negative 3 and describe a sequence of transformations that maps the graph of that onto the graph of its image. So I'm going to multiply this matrix here by um, our old graph. Our old graph is x and y so our new graph, our new x values and our new y values will be this matrix multiplied by x, y. This is basically what we've been doing um, before. So my new x values are going to be 1 on 2x, you know, half times x, 0 times y. And that means that my old x values are going to be 2 times my new x values. My um, y dash equals negative 3y. So therefore my old y values are going to be negative, uh, y, my new y values divided by 3. Now again, I'm going to replace y equals 1 on x. I'm going to replace the x with 2x. 2x dash and replace the y with negative y dash on 3. So as you can see what I've got over here that becomes uh, I'm multiplying both sides by 3 minus um, you know multiplied sorry or divide both sides by negative 1 and I get this graph here. So my new graph is negative 3 on 2x dash. Now there's a variety of ways that you know I guess that's one part of the answer there that it says um, find the equation of the image so that's the equation but then it also says to uh, describe a sequence of transformations that maps this one onto uh, you know, to get to this one there could be a variety of answers with this you could just have the one dilation if you wanted to but I've got two I've got a dilation by a factor of three from the x-axis that's the top dilation a factor of one on two from the y-axis that's down the bottom and a reflection in the x-axis you could have it as um, I, I guess no no actually you would need to have all of those things um, because uh, because it's based on this um, matrix here I was going to suggest that you could actually make it negative 3 on 2 um, times 1 on X in which case that would be the dilation factor there um, 3 on 2 um, you would actually get the same graph but we need to uh, abide by the question which um, talked about that um, matrix there so that would be uh, the answer to that question there. We're going to move on to the next question which is, um, this is actually taken from a VCAR exam, um, 2006 VCAR exam 2 question 13 um, and the average of this uh, in, in the, that year was 33% so this question was done very poorly um, by the year level probably because it's a brand new part of the course and people didn't really understand what to do there wasn't many questions about it. So um, the transformation, you know, uh, this just means that there's a, a transformation in X and in, y, in the Y direction as well, um, which maps the curve Y equals log E X plus, uh, to the curve with equation log E 2X minus 4 plus 3 could have the rule. Now, again, um, you, you haven't seen log E yet. You've just seen like, you know, log 2 and other things, but I'm going to leave it as log E. It, it really doesn't matter. It just the transformations are the, are the thing that we're looking at um, at the moment. Now again, I'm going to insist on making this one here look like the one that I like. Um, you know the methods, uh, the form that I like. So I'm going to take out the two as a common factor. So here I can see that it, that's been dilated by a factor of um, uh, one on two from the x-axis. It's been uh, translated two units right and three units up. So I guess I could just go back to um, my you know my my theory up here. And, um, and, and realize that, you know, dilated by a factor of 1 on B is this number here. So mine was dilated by a factor of 1 on 2. So that, that number there should be a half. Um, and then I think it was moved two units right. So that one would be here. So that this here should be plus 2. And I think it was uh, 3 down as well. So that should be negative 3. Um, let's just have a look and see if that 
one is uh, there. Yep, so I, I was correct. So, you know, dilation by a factor of uh, one on two, two units right, three units. Um, oh, so it's three units up, I thought it was three units down. So again, if, if I just look through my matrices here, I can actually see that my first one is gonna give me that answer. That's dilated by a factor of half from the y-axis. Um, it's been moved two units right and it's been moved three units down. All of the other um, uh, answers won't, won't be correct. Um, you know, th they've got little tricks here. You know, that one is, you know, they haven't taken out the two as a common factor. Um, you know, this one, they've moved it to the right rather than to the left, and, you know, all, all, you know, other way around, sorry, left instead of the right. So the answer is not correct. So the answer is actually A. Again, if, if I multiply it all out, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to get right back to where I started, which is exactly what I want. So therefore that kind of proves the answer. I won't go through that proof. Um, you can have a look at that yourself. Okay. The next uh, question is uh, taken from a, a practice exam. So not a VCAR exam, um, just one of the publishers that come out with exams that sort of try and help us. And they're a bit hit and miss, you know, they, they can be good for revision. Um, sometimes they're, they're, um, they're not that great, but we've got this question's not too bad. So this is from 2012 Heffernan exam one, um, question seven. So this, the previous one you could have used your calculator for, but this one you can't use your calculator. Not that you would anyway, actually, I wouldn't with these ones. So I'm gonna multiply this all out and I'm gonna apply it to one on X to get um, my answer. So when I my, you know, get my answer in the form of this, A, X plus B plus C. So I'm gonna multiply uh, this matrix out. So two times X plus zero times Y plus one equals the new X value. And zero times X plus four times Y minus three equals Y dash. I'm gonna rearrange all of these things here um, so that I get X equals that and Y equals that. And then I can um, put that into back into my equation up here. Okay, so X equals one on two bracket x dash minus one and y equals one on four bracket y dash plus three. Replace those in to this equation here. Okay, and I get this equals that. I'm gonna make things a little bit nicer for myself. I'm gonna multiply both sides by four. So that means that's four over a half. Now, I needed the graph to be in this form, a over x plus b plus c. And it, I don't know if it said anything about A, B, and C. No, it didn't say what, what they were. So they could be positive or negative, and they could be whole numbers or um, uh, decimals or fractions. <coughs> but I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, try and get this as close to that, um, my answer as close to this as possible. So four divided by a half, this gets a bit tricky. You know, four divided by a half is the same as four over one divided by a half. So that's four over one multiplied by two over one, so that's eight. So the top actually becomes eight, and then I've got x dash minus one on the bottom, minus three on both sides now, and my answer looks exactly the same as theirs. So I've got a is eight, b is uh, one, and c is negative three. Let me just check that up here. Okay, I think that I might have made a mistake in this. I think that that should be B is um, negative one because if I put negative one into there, I'll I'll get back into that equation there. So B should be negative one, A is eight, and C is negative three. So that concludes our second part of the transformation using matrices. Hopefully you've understood um, a fair bit from that. Um, please let me know if you need some more help or if you, if you still got questions uh, with these kinds of questions. Uh, thanks for watching.